I was actually hospitalized for three days um, with, I was septic actually, so I had sepsis, which is bad in and of itself. Um, so I didn't actually come down with any of the symptoms until maybe a week or two after I had left um, my first area. When I was in Miri, um, no one had actually put the filters. We had an external filter. There's three stage filter. No one had actually put the filters in the filter system. You know, nobody knew it because you can't see inside the filter the filter system. And uh, one day the water had the water tank. I guess we forgot to pay the water bill, so it went dry. And so we were kind of drinking from the water at the very bottom of the this the water tank. I, me and one other missionary got sick. The other missionary wasn't as sick as I got. I I, I don't think I had then moved to an, another area and then had come down with you know symptoms of fever. Um, I had a temperature of like 104 at one point, and I had gone to three different hospitals. Finally, the, the bishop, who was an expat of one of the uh, districts there, had taken me to a, a more of a, an expat uh, um, hospital. And so they took my blood work, they said I had 70% bacteria in my blood, and they admitted me right there. So, and I was in the hospital for three days, and then I spent like four or five more days at a member's house just recuperating. Um, so don't drink the water unless it's filtered. You can get around that. Most of the times it's not that bad. I was just a rare case. Whenever you go out to eat, they, they offer you Milo. Milo is like a chocolate mixed drink uh, and they make it with the water there. I don't know if they filter the water before they give it to you, but I'd always get Milo just because I didn't want the water. It was like a, it was like a psychological thing, you know, so don't get the water, but I can get Milo even though it has the water in it. And I, I didn't get sick after that. You know, I never really drank water unless it was filtered or from my own, my, our own kitchen, you know, I'd filter it. Sepsis is, it's an infection. Um, septic, you've heard of like septic tank or kind of things like that. It's just, it's just bacteria. Um, so it's bad. A lot of people could die from sepsis. Um, you know, it, I, I'm not trying to like toot my own horn, but I mean, I could have died on the mission. Um, they didn't tell my mother or me that I had, I had uh, sepsis until after I had left on the mission, just because they didn't want to scare either of us. Um, but they, you know, they kept close watch over me and stuff like that. And they made sure that I didn't have reoccurring uh, symptoms, but uh, we didn't find out. And then, you know, sepsis, sepsis is bad. I mean, I can't give you the official definition right now, but it's, just, it's a, I believe it's a bacterial infection. Um, and if it, it's not taken care of, it can get bad. But you know, I had like, they said I had 70% bacteria in my blood and then they, you know, they put me on an IV for three days and then, you know, let me rest and I was fine. So if it's not taken care of, it can get bad.